has 10 nuts. Ken has 5 more nuts than Ben. How many nuts does Ken have? Let's draw the model to show the relationship between the number of nuts Ben and Ken have. From the model, you can see that Ken has another 5 more than Ben. So in order to find how many nuts does Ken has, we need to add the number of nuts Ben has in the 5. 10 plus 5 equals 15. Hence Ben has 15 nuts. Jane has 12 pencils. Jane has 3 fewer pencils than Nancy. How many pencils does Nancy have? Let's draw the model to show the relationship between the number of pencils Jane and Nancy have. From the model, you can see that Jane has 3 lesser pencils as compared to Nancy. So Nancy has 3 more pencils. We need to add the number of pencils which Jane has which is 12, and the 3 more pencils which Nancy has more than Jane. 12 plus 3 that give us 15. So Nancy has 15 pencils. Fifty girls and 155 boys took part in an art competition. How many more girls than boys were there? Let's draw the model to show the relationship between the number of girls and boys took part in an art competition. We need to find the difference between the number of girls and boys. 250 minus 155 is equal to 95. So there were 95 more girls than boys. Tommy read 142 pages on Monday. He read 12 pages less on Tuesday. How many pages did Tommy read on Tuesday? From the model below, it showed that on Tuesday, it has 12 less pages than compared to Monday, which is 142 pages. To find how many pages does Tommy read on Tuesday, we simply find the difference between the number of pages read on Monday and the 12 pages which is read lesser compared to that Monday. 142 minus 12 is 130. Therefore Tommy read 130 pages on Tuesday. That is all for now. Do remember to subscribe so that you will be updated on the new videos. See you again.